recording. Here we go. It is game number two. We are on Terminus Re. It is Goody against Happy. Happy is up 1-0 after a very endurance requiring match. Let's just call it this one. Happy was able with his better multitasking and his slightly better decision making. It's still a very close game to take it after 33 minutes and that's why he's currently up 1-0 in the semi-finals. Uh, Happy like I said, once again, currently ranked number one in the European Grandmasters ladder, and he is top three in this ladder since the season started, basically. He was actually, he is actually the player being uh, ranked number one in the ladder for most of the time. He's got over 90% win rate. He just was able to win 30 games in a row on the ladder recently. He is going to DreamHack. So some people say his playstyle is predictable. His mechanics are really really good. His micro is really really outstanding. So if he's actually able to just get a little bit better in terms of uh, diversifying his build orders and being slightly better in terms of decision making in terms of what units to get when in a certain matchup, he would actually be one of the best um, Terran players we have in Europe. If he's not always considered one of the best Terrans already. So, um, Goody opening with a Marauder, that's interesting. And a follow up of the Marauder is the Reaper right now. Meanwhile, we see Happy going for a factory. And you know what's interesting? I mean, in the last game, we still had like 10 base against 10 base TVT, but those guys, they nearly always open up, and I'm talking especially about Happy, uh, with a very fast command center. Goody occasionally and um, goes for a command center first, but most of the time he only does this on crevasse. But I never saw Happy go for a fast command center, and I cast like 60, 70 games of this guy already. So here we have the Marauder and the Reaper, but there is the bunker already waiting. So it might be slightly better and take a look at this. Happy not only having uh, one marine here in the bunker, but also having two marines here in the back waiting. Now this reaper tried to take out a hellion. Of course a reaper can take out a hellion because it does additional damage against light armored units. Now Happy's but still a better micro. Uh, if it's just a uh, reaper fighting against hellion, the reaper wins. But if the Hellion actually managed to just get his shots off, run away from the Reaper attack again and abuse the range 5 of the Hellion instead of the range 4 of the Reaper, the Hellion actually with better micro can kill the Hellion, uh, the Reaper. And this is just what Happy showed us at the moment. There we see Engineering Bay coming up, there we see the Banshee, there we see the Cloaked, and this is what I said when I meant oh, he nearly always goes Banshee first, and now uh, he went Banshee first in the last game, now he's going Banshee once again. There we see the Orbital is already up for Goody in the next... Just wait for... Four, three, two... And the Orbital is already up for Goody right now, so he's in a good position just to produce more SCVs, get a better economy up and running. And now, because his uh, expansion is faster than the one of Happy, meaning Happy will have more production capabilities, he will have more units. Basically, Goody needs to defend any harassment right now to actually be able to profit from his better economical start. So, there is Happy building his command center right now. Uh, how many units does he have on the field? By the way, here is the Banshee. He's now only got one kill off Goody here with a missile turret in place. Here's the Viking in position as well. There is a missile turret waiting. So, Goody realizing, ah, uh, yes. Okay, I can attack this um, Banshee without any problems at all. Banshee took some more damage, now it's really losing some more energy, and very soon this Banshee will be without energy. Will Goody actually be able to take this Banshee out? Because now it is uncloaked, he was not following it for too long, that's why the Banshee will 
go down right now. There we see Goody's getting siege tanks. He's getting a raven right now. Of course, having a raven allows you to save scans, and this is always a good thing to go for. There, this command center is about to get finished for Happy. And there we go. And by the way, in semi-final number two, we have the German Terran Grandmaster player DBS playing against Underdog, who is of course the Ukrainian Protoss player, who was actually the only Protoss we saw a game today uh, from, and he's one of the best Ukrainian Protoss, of course, Whitra being the best Ukrainian Protoss and the nicest person on the planet. There we see factory number two coming up for Goody. Well, now what is Happy going to do? He's landing his orbital. He's having two Vikings out already. And there he's repairing his banshees. And Happy always plays so cost effective. Never unnecessarily loses a unit. When you can repair stuff, repair stuff. Because repairing stuff is still build, uh, less expensive than just build more stuff. Looks like Happy is about to attack once again, but now Goody got another Missile Turret up here, and Missile Turret already doing some damage, now Happy is just trying to find a small weak spot here, and there is a Banshee, and there is a Viking coming in, but Goody knows about the two Vikings here of Happy as well, there he's just rebuilding another Missile turret, so attack. This attack has basically been denied, and with Goody getting his second expansion up, he's on three orbitals compared to the two orbitals right now. Yes, Happy is just started with this command center, but still is slightly later. So, uh, very, very soon, Goody actually should start to profit from his better economy by actually getting a slight lead in terms of a supply. But 82 against 74 is actually not that big of a difference. But now, those four factories kick in two Thors, two Hellions three SCVs being built at the same time, still the Vikings flying around, let's take a look at the unit counting station, we see two Banshees, four Vikings, four Siege Tanks, four Happy, and less Vikings, same amount of Siege Tanks, but very very soon two Thor's out, and with a Thor's out of course, he will be able to deal with the Banshees just fine, scan coming up, by Goody, I'm not so sure why he did actually scan there, immediately trying to pull away his siege tank, and yeah, those Banshees, you need to really be very careful to go check what's going on with the missile turrets, the missile turrets having the same attack speed as a marine without stim, and they take twice, so 12 damage times 2, 24 damage is way more than 6 damage from a marine. So a missile turret actually does four times the damage than a uh, unupgraded marine. So if you want to just have some number to compare, uh, numbers to compare. So uh, two Thors out, two more Thors out right now, pretty soon. Um, there's a Thor number four, there's a Thor number five, and he's really going heavy on the Thors, and he's going to attack him because of his superior economy, uh, economy, economy. Uh, he is able to attack right now, Thor is doing some good damage against the Banshees, Banshee 1 and 2 going down, Siege Tanks on the low ground, take out all those forces and Goody just uh, was able to make up faster, he was able to uh, survive any harassment and now he's just having more stuff and he's moving in the base of Happy right now, doesn't want not does not want Happy to allow to just go for a super super duper long game, but he I'm not sure why he's not continuing to attack, it is just two siege tanks and four landed vikings. Now a fourth siege tank, a third siege tank is in the mix as well, but at least still the four Thors alone will be able to take this out, so I'm not really sure why he's going on super passive mode. I mean, yes, denying Happy any more expansion is a good thing to have, but um, sometimes it's just uh, by getting ahead, get further, uh, if you're ahead, get further ahead. Sometimes this also means just move in and kill your opponent, because there were no siege tanks on the high ground, no siege tanks on the low ground, nor guerrilla marauder forces out. Now they are, now more siege tanks coming in, now we have the vikings in the air once again. But Goody, he was able to attack, he did not do it, and let's just hope for his sake that this will not come back and bite him in the ass. There we see Goody having more stuff prepared.
It looks like Goody is not attacking. He's just building missile turrets all over the place. He does not want to allow um, Happy to make something happen. Now Happy is spotting this SCV. SCV got taken out. Uh, but so did the Marine here by the Blue Flame Hellion. Uh, and still nothing is happening at the moment. Uh, with each player attacking each other, there is no one just... going for any kind of, uh, let's just call it, <laughs> harassment oriented playstyle of Goody playing super safe, no drop will enter this base, at least only in his main base he's got how many missile turrets? At least in the main base it is 11, 12, my mistake, 12 missile turrets, the natural has 2 missile turrets, uh, the second expansion at least 2 missile turrets as well, so he's got a total of <laughs> 18 missile turrets, uh, in addition to those three here, so Goody absolutely making sure that nothing like this will ever happen once again. And there we see even more missile turrets being built. So he's just going for the super super duper hard contain. Of course he needs to make sure that more units will be sent here to the front. He's doing this right now. He's got a sensor tower up. Would really like for him to get another sensor tower up here because then uh, a possible drop, a possible drop attack by Happy will not happen anytime soon. Now the supply for both guys are actually pretty much the same right now. We see 160, one against 164. But Goody now got uh, this base up and running as well, of course focusing on the mineral income because he's with 4 worlds, he's got 4 mules every 80 seconds, uh, which is just um, every 80 seconds another 800 plus 120 to uh, 210, just roughly a thousand minerals every 80 seconds. And looks like Happy is about to move out. There we see the SCVs coming in, of course. Uh, the Hellions trying to take out most of the SCVs. Here are the tanks. Uh, they need to do some damage in the back. Meanwhile, the Thors need to do some damage in the front. And now Happy was able to siege it up with all of his siege tanks as well. And looks like the contain has been broken. All the SCVs Happy brought were successful in that regard. Those units all go down. Now Happy needs to re... Uh, Goody needs to rebuild units. This is immediately a what he is doing, the harvest account is down to 41 for uh, Happy Goody constantly scanning, seeing where is Happy, does Happy know about this base? No he does not, is he going to check at this uh, Zelnaga watchtower? No he's not, he's just sieging up right now, Goody sieging up with his tanks already as well, and most likely going to lose his... Um, base and no happy is here realizing oh there's a hidden base so most likely all those buildings will go down it's good in pulling away with his SCVs just in time he's moving away with some but not with all of his SCVs because he's getting another command center here pretty soon the SCV constructing it got taken out so happy knows about this command center there he's just got some siege tanks up still the position is slightly better here um, for goody in terms of economy now four vikings are out and four vikings are actually able to go for some nice protection here for this banshee because now with those two marines down the vikings will be able to protect this banshee and this banshee now can just pick up one tank after another not really having to pay attention to any more stuff and now another marine is moving in um, the marine gets taken out, not just yet, happy realizing oh, I actually have to pull back at the same time, sending in some stint marauders here all over the place, got some more dropped uh, in this medivac, and this missile, those missile turrets did do quite some damage, the command center started burning, is it going to go down as well, of course, this might be the question for the moment, at the same time, uh, happy is moving over here, goody spotting those forces, some more siege tanks being up here, goody sieged up with the siege tanks a little bit faster, now he's still got the cloak branches in the air, dealing some more damage, and when we take a look at the total amount, those 9 kills are not only SCVs or marines, some of those are already siege tanks. Now, the Thoras are in a lot of trouble because of the Marauders and the siege tanks, but will they be able to take those forces out in the end? At the moment, it looks like it. All the siege tanks go down. Now, the Thor is again helping out against the Vikings as well. Now, this command center is going to burn down to the ground. And now we have the admin joke of the day. Goody does not attack he takes the advantage to the late game. <laughs>
So, um, happy now with this Marauders taking out those orbitals. Um, this orbital is just lifted up. Um, it's not just getting cancelled and lifted up. This is a little bit curious. And now happy is back to his three bases, not mining at the main base. Uh, not having many minerals left at the natural expansions, even less here at the third base, so that's why here all the mules were called down most likely. Goody now with his um, bases here left should be in an okay situation. Now this banshee and those banshees really put Goody in such a good position, took out the remaining marauders, so now landing some orbitals, uh, landing some Mules here next to the orbitals should be a good thing for Goody because Goody is now ahead 150 supply against 107 and now 24 minutes into the game is what we are right now. And if Goody is going to take this game we will have an ace match and this ace match will only decide who is going to play in the finals either against DVS or Underdog, both uh, European Grandmaster players. So, what is Goody getting right now? He's getting more missile turrets, of course, sure, why not? He's got this orbital here at the 9 o'clock center location. And looks like Happy is about to move out once again with a lot of SCVs, with a lot of Marines. He's got even quite a lot of Vikings, and for the moment, for just a small moment, those uh, SCVs uh, holding this minerals, I just saw, I thought, oh, I see, am I seeing a high Templar? And this is an all or nothing attack for Happy. He is all in, he just threw down his cards, he's standing up at the table and now we see how this is going but I think this time Shadow is lagging one of the admins, um, this time Goody got more than enough siege tanks already up, some more scans were made, GG is called by Happy and Goody really was able to take the advantage to the late game, taking game number two and now tying up the series against Happy so it's a 1-1 right now and Game number three, the deciding match, who will advance to the final, to the four players close combat cup, is coming up after this. So we definitely will have a Terran in the finals. The question now is, will it be a TVP or a TVT?